In today's video, I wanted to share with you all the outfits I wore on a four day trip to New York City. The weather was fairly cold, but I did okay by really layering. And so it's a great opportunity to talk a little bit about fall and winter layering outfits. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Z Lennox, and if you're new, a very warm welcome, and we'll get right to it. The other thing that I did, don't tell anybody for the first time ever, is I got something injected in my face. For my trip there, I opted for some trouser leggings that have a really cute little stripe. They're from G Label, from the Goop Label, and they're very old, so they're not available, but I'm gonna link some below because I love this type of elevated legging that is a little bit more than a legging, but is just as comfortable. I also wore my Perfect Cut Crew sweatshirt from Lululemon. It is in stock. I love it. It's just, it truly is like the perfect cut crew neck sweater. They have it in a few different colors. I chose the white one because I love to live on the edge and I love the anxiety of like not knowing if I'm going to spill something on myself. I also think Lululemon washes pretty well. So I felt a little confident about being able to just bleach it if something happened. Right when I got there, I had a photo shoot with my longtime photographer in the city that has done a lot of my pictures for New York Fashion Week. His name is Frank Rocco. If you're ever in the area, look him up. And we did a few looks, some of them from my sequin dresses from Rent the Runway, which are very holiday spirited. So I did a red sequin one. We did this really fun sweater set from Revolve that's like a zebra print. It's a little bit crazy and wild. Then following my personal photo shoot, the whole family joined. And we went around Rockefeller Center and the Cartier building. And for that, I also chose my Rent the Runaway blazer that was plaid, red and black, really chic, just so holiday perfect. I love the look so much. And I also wore my new H&M Kelly Green coat that I featured in my last haul for some of the times where things were getting a little bit colder. I'm still wearing my trusty tailored leggings and I wore it out to dinner. We went to Serafina, it's a classic. New York spot for dining. I had been there before for brunch many years ago and dinner was amazing. We had like a little private room. We didn't have to really sit around anybody. The following day was really exciting because I had an appointment with Dr. Einstein, who is a plastic surgeon whose office specializes in like mommy makeovers, but they also do a lot of facials and like aesthetics and things like that. And they invited me to come in and experience their laser facial, which I never had before. I've had acid facials, I've had peels, I had all sorts of things. I've never done a laser facial and I was unprepared for the type of pain that I would experience. I, it wasn't like I was screaming, but I was certainly like clenching up and tears were rolling down my face, like without me meaning to. Like I thought I had it under control and I thought it was good, but it was actually quite painful. And now a few days later, I am starting to see the benefits and I'm starting to be like, oh, this was totally worth it because it like really helped with like pore size and fine lines and wrinkles. So if you have like H bots, melasma, large pores like me, I have really oily skin, wrinkles because I'm 42. It just kind of like all kind of got a little bit airbrushed. I didn't mean for tears to stream down my face, but they did, but I would do it again. And apparently this facial is not as painful as there's another laser that is even more excruciating than this that people swear by. And so their whole, they were touting that this is not as painful and that the results are even better. The other thing that I did, don't tell anybody for the first time ever, is I got something injected in my face. It wasn't Botox. I got a sprinkle of lip injections into my lips and I don't know what came over me. I've always wanted like a little bit plumper lips. I think many people, unless you're like Scarlett Johansson or Angelina Jolie, I feel like you kind of want just a little bit more plumpness. I think again, aging, you start to get a little bit thin lipped sometimes. And I just have always dreamt about it. And I was too chicken because I didn't want to look like Caitlyn Jenner and I don't want to look just really fake and duck mouth and all, you know, like the pillow face filter that we all see. I really didn't want that to happen. I put on my coat after my facial and I was like, I'm gonna walk away. And I'm also a micromanager. So I didn't, I, I that's why I've never done Botox or anything to my face. Cause I know that, and even though my nose is broken, I actually need a nose job, but I've never gotten it fixed because I know that I would be unhappy with the results. Isn't that crazy? Anyway, I put on my, my coat, right? Because I'm ready to leave. Cause I got my painful laser facial and I'm 
I'm excited to see the results. Nurse Tara and I started talking and then I find out that she's a dancer. We start, I start to relax, let my guard down. And I'm like, so what do you think, if I wanted to get something with my lips, what do you think I should do? And she's like, oh, I would just do like a little bit right in the center of your lips and a little bit right on the cupid's bow. Just like three points of contact, that is it. So it looks very, very natural. And I was like, Ugh. and I was about to walk out the door and it was like the little, the other, you know, the devil and the angel. I don't know which one was which, but they were like, you're staying, you're doing this. I told her I'm staying and I'm doing this. And she said, really? So get this, this is total surprise. It, the lip injections were not as painful as a, as a laser. Can you believe that? Like I was ready. She gave me like this breast implant to hold in my hands for, for like pain, which was a little scary. I was like, what is this for? She's like, just clench it if you need to. And I didn't need to at all. Like she numbed my lips with, with some kind of ointment, but I just watched the whole thing in a mirror, which is also very unlike me. Cause I'm usually get a little bit queasy need. And I watched the whole thing and I was like, just like, what is going on? It was so insane to watch. I couldn't believe I was doing it. And it's like the one thing my mom has always said not to do. She's like, don't, just don't do your lips and don't do a Botox. Like I'd rather you get a facelift. She hasn't had any of things, so I don't know where she gets this from, but that's her opinion. And you know how it is with moms. Like you're just like, okay, mom. She first finished, I was like, oh my gosh, it looks like my favorite Instagram filter. That's what I told her. I said, I like, you know, the Instagram filters, that give you like a little bit of like a whoop. Then, <laughs> Four hours later, as we're at the Christmas Spectacular, I'll come back to that outfit later, my lips under my mask start, I can feel that they're getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And in, even inside my mouth, like I could tell that they were starting to invade in between my teeth. And I'm like, shoot, what if I'm having a reaction? So we get out of the Christmas Spectacular, we go to the top of the rock. And at that point, I'm just like so thankful that I have a mask on because I'm like duck face. Caitlyn Jenner all the way, whatever, whoever you want to picture a duck face to be. I look horrible. I'm like about to start crying. And my husband's like, I can't believe you did this. And then my little kid is like, mom, you look beautiful. He like is very emotionally intelligent. And I'm like, I did a huge mistake. I can't believe I did this. Like texting nurse Tara and being like, is this normal? What is supposed to happen? You'll lose 20% of the volume in about three days and it's going to be fine. So this is three days later. I'll show you up close in a bit. Moral of the story, I'm kind of glad that I did it because it taught me that number one, I can't really handle plastic surgery or injectables or anything. Number two, it usually is fixable. So even if I had a huge problem with it, like in six months, it's all gonna go down, so it doesn't matter. Number three, I'm really glad that I went to somebody who's so reputable because I knew that the results were gonna be good. So I actually kind of like how it looks now. But those are just some of the things that I learned from this little experiment. Getting back to my outfits. So what I wore to the nurse's office was this really cute little shoulder warmer from H&M and my mom jeans from H&M and a turtleneck that I showed you in my last haul. So that was really cute and practical. I also wore that big, huge glam faux fur coat there and some white combat boots from Cecilia, New York. And that night we went to the Waverly Inn, which is really famous for their amazing homemade buttery biscuits. And that's the last meal that I had before COVID hit February, 2020 after New York Fashion Week. I went there with my photographer and we had a great meal. And I was like, oh my gosh, such a great date. I just can't wait to bring my husband. And then COVID hit and I never, we never went back, but it's still there. It's as beautiful as ever. It is pretty kid friendly. I would go a little bit earlier. I love it so much. And the following day was Thanksgiving, which is when we went to the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. I wore a jumpsuit from Mango that I, and my white Cecilia New York boots with my jacket and menswear outerwear combination. I was really warm. That was a really cold morning and fortunately it started to get a lot warmer. After the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, we went back to the hotel room after lunch and then we got ready to go to the zoo and kind of have like Upper East Side, if you will. So kind of my base outfit was always the black turtleneck for a layer, the leggings, and then this time I was wearing the zebra print cardigan only from the whole set from the very first day. And then on top of that, I was wearing a faux leather button down shirt just for extra warmth. And I also added my faux fur black coat on top. And then this time I added a curling bucket hat, which kept me so, so warm. And it was just so easy to manage. I feel like sometimes fedoras can feel like really heavy over the day. I don't know, I felt very chic and classic. Following the zoo, we took a carriage ride, which I cannot recommend enough. One thing that you should not do if you're in New York is you know those ricochet biker people that have like 
the seat that you can see like a four seater don't do that that is i think it's seven dollars a minute we ended up paying 112 dollars to go from like midtown to like 12 blocks not only was it very expensive but it was also terrifying because they're just riding the bike and you're just kind of it was like a cartoon you were just like tailing around like that and it was like mortifying like i thought for a second that somebody was gonna hit us it was nighttime i was freezing don't recommend do recommend the carriage ride the carriage ride is like between 50 and 60 depending for 20 minutes and you can do a beautiful loop around central park with a carriage just a great way to see new york and see the skyline and just enjoy like a little bit of a reprieve like kind of in the middle of all the city chaos then after that this is still thanksgiving day we went to the plaza hotel which is right like around the corner from central park and we just literally went there to just sit for a second <laughs> it was really beautiful lots of gorgeous chandeliers and then after that we went to dinner at the cathedral which is an amazing restaurant highly recommend it it's also great for kids really really good we sit at the time new york which isn't a fancy hotel whatsoever it is a cute little boutique hotel and can't recommend it enough because it was spacious and it was also right in the center of everything especially if you have kids like it's so easy to get to the subway midtown central park like kind of everywhere so it was right where we wanted to be so then we went back there and we got like the kids portraits done by a street vendor that was really cute a couple of things that I didn't wear that much and that is kind of like a good learning in these city trips is it's nice to take pictures in or if you're going back to the hotel to get dressed up for dinner and then going out. But it's really hard to go out and explore the city in the cold winter months when you are wearing dresses, even if they're sweater dresses, even if they're faux leather dresses. Like I have a Ted Baker faux leather dress. It's really beautiful. It's very warm, but I was really cautious. It's going to feel like I'm naked. Even if I'm wearing tights or anything, I'm still going to be pretty cold. So I didn't wear that. I didn't wear my sweater dress. I didn't wear my mini sequin dress. I just couldn't hang, even though I am such a dress girl, I couldn't do it. And so that's just something to keep in mind when you're traveling. What I really wore a lot were those leggings, my jacket underneath a lot of the coats. I also wore my mom jeans from H&M a lot and then in terms of shoes i just wore chelsea boots or combat boots most of the time and then a couple of times i wore mini high heels like if i just was going to go in and out of places but that's pretty much it i just wanted to share a little bit about my our adventure to new york city as well as what i wore a lot of these items are on sale i took a lot of the pieces that now that are that i've been doing from my from these hauls in the last couple of weeks and I also wanna share a little bit of the tidbits of what to do in New York because it's a city that I know very, very well. And I also need to tell somebody about my lips because I really haven't told anybody at all. So now you know. Make sure to check out how to wear knee high boots with my Zara boots, my Zara haul, and my latest H&M haul. A lot of these pieces are in there. And if you have fun with me today, please give me a thumbs up and I hope to see you really soon.